Virtually every community in the state is dealing with an expensive 911 problem. People who call 911 again and again and again. Those calls are expensive and they take time. Matt Grubbs explains how one community is attacking this problem by showing up when there is no emergency. Here's his special assignment. They really made me feel like an important part of the community, not just a pain in the butt. This is our first day in Center A year and a half ago, Karen Parks was a very familiar face to Santa Fe firefighters. I was calling the ambulance a lot for anxiety attacks, medication errors, all sorts of things like that. People like Karen, high utilizers they're called, use a stunning amount of resources. Less than 1% of the population in Santa Fe accounts for nearly 20% of the calls to 911. If you've called 911 7, 8, 12, 13, 14, 20, 30, 50 times, uh, it means that the system is, is not addressing your issues. Santa Fe is one of just a few dozen cities in the country trying what's called a mobile integrated health approach. They came to me. They didn't just call me on the phone and say, hey, you're calling an ambulance a lot. The goal was to fix her problems using programs that were already in place instead of calling 911. You know, support groups and things like that in the community that I didn't even know about before they talked to me. The truck stays in the garage. Copy 747, thanks. Instead, a handful of firefighters hit the streets in a car. The department is targeting the most frequent 911 callers. Isaias Garcia doesn't have a home. He's diabetic and he's been to the emergency room four times in the last month. The last time I go to the hospital for the medicine, I don't have medicine. Without his medication, working is impossible and his condition goes downhill from there. I don't make nothing every day, just sit, eat, and see TV. Here, I make make exercise for my legs and for my heart in my body. So firefighter Ramos Sozi worked with Garcia to get a month's worth of medicine. Next step, go long term. For the years to come, his medications will be uh, paid for and he'll be able to manage. That saves thousands of dollars. What is the ambulance transport cost? What does uh, an ER visit with IVs and medications cost? For Sosi, who's spent 18 years on an ambulance crew, it's a different kind of satisfaction, and that's a common feeling among firefighters. All right. Wow, oh, man, that's way better than I thought it was going to be, right? You can't let go hang out with your buddies and be like, oh, man, the other day I secured health care for a homeless person. But just watch Roland Jones connect. Hey, how you doing? I talked to you on the phone. Yeah. This place is awesome, man. I love it. Thank you with the Bienvenidos food pantry <laughs> to help a 911 caller who's often going hungry. Financially, transportation is the issue. Yeah, so you would be able to come in and pick it up. That would be such a good thing. It's easy to see what firefighters get out of the deal. You don't get to brag as much, but I think you help people more. The $300,000 the program will cost Santa Fe this year will likely save the city even more by using what's already there. We do not want to become uh, some new agency in town. Uh, we think our role is, is pretty clear, and we just want to make sure that we navigate people so that they get the right care at the right place at the right time at the right cost. This is a radically different approach. This is a shift in thinking uh, to where we go to the client, ask the client what they need, how can we be a partner with them. Social worker Kristen Carmichael works on the team alongside a consulting doctor and a pharmacist. It might be a new way of thinking, but it is not a foreign language. Every person that we've approached to try to work with from this population very much wants the help. They need it to be delivered in a certain way, um, and so as long as we kind of meet them in the middle, then that can take place. Carmichael and program manager Andres Mercado will be keeping track of results to prove the program works as hoped. Karen Parks, who now has a new job, a new apartment, a new husband, has all the proof she needs. Maybe a year and a half since they originally uh, came and talked to me, but it made me feel important enough to make the effort myself. Matt Grubbs, KRQE News 13. High utilizers, it turns out, account for almost 20% of Santa Fe's emergency calls, while actual fires make up just 1% of the calls to 911. You can read more about that program online. Just go to krqe.com.